11 hours, 6,000 miles, two parents and one six month old. Is it the recipe for disaster or will it be smooth sailing or flying as it were? Nobody wants to be the one on a flight with a screaming baby. Oh, brutal. <laughs> but I also believe adventures don't have to end just because you have a child. But that doesn't mean it's not intimidating. It's 9.30. We are about to catch a bus to go to LAX. And from there, we're going to go to Tokyo. And from there, we're going to go to Osaka. And then we're going to catch a train to Kyoto with our six-month-old baby. Are you excited to go to Japan? Yeah. After getting into LA last night around midnight, so <laughs> this will be interesting. Pray for us. Are you ready? I'm ready. Felix has been on several flights. None have been this long. We've got a long journey ahead, and this is only the beginning. That was great timing. Shell just pulled up. Good timing. Good timing. All right. There it is. Alrighty. Got a coffee, which we're very excited about. Do you want to check out the food? Let's check out the food. Are you going to make your own pancakes? I don't think that. Can I have a little bite? Just a tiny little taste, please. You won't even notice it's gone. I'm invisible. You don't see me. I just want a little nibble, nothing more. Hey, I'm here, just in case you didn't see me. This doesn't look safe for you. I should try it first. Oh yeah, and I'm going to be pumping all throughout this journey too. That's every three to four hours, plus cleaning, staying hydrated, and remembering to keep the time straight as we change time zones. Also, you guys, this is the best $20 I've ever spent. This drying rack and especially these wearable pumps make it all possible. I honestly don't know how I would be able to keep up exclusive pumping while traveling otherwise. This is selfie time. <laughs> <laughs> it's helping. Are you sitting like a big boy? Yeah. Look at you. This is a new skill. Time to go. Very tired guy. Hold up. Business class? Okay, you guys, for years I vagabonded. I slept only in dorms, hitchhiked to get around, and had the best stories from that time. But since then, I've grown my business, grown my mileage accounts, and when we found a good deal flying business class, I jumped on it. It's Garrett and Felix's first time. Is it nice? It is really nice. It's really nice. <laughs> oh, brutal. <laughs> when flying with a baby, one person is holding and the other is eating. It's kind of like parent life at ground level too, am I right? When your parents you take turn eating. This tea, which it tastes like flowers. We basically missed our first nap today, so I hope that the lights go out soon so we can get some sleep. are made for me. <laughs> what do we got? Tissues, earplugs, toothbrush. Eye mask, yes. Moisture mask. Lights are going out. What is this moisture mask? I guess you put like this moist towel in inside the mask. And put it on your face. It's a little strange to be honest. <laughs> We take turns sleeping, getting a meal in, and hoping that eventually he'll get tired, take a nap, and hopefully it'll all go down with minimal protest. The little guy complied, and I even had time to get some ramen and a movie in. But 
mama can't rest for too long, it's pump o'clock again. When flying, I recommend bringing some filtered water or asking for bottled water to wash the parts and bottles with. Sometimes the water on board isn't potable and even if it is, I'm not sure about the state of those water trucks. I like to fold out the baby changing station, put down some hand towels so that it's clean and use that as my sort of pumping work and cleaning station. It's tight in there, but you get the job done. You guys, they have the cool toilet seats even on board. When traveling for so long with a baby, especially for a daytime flight where I knew he would be awake for a good part of it, I knew that we needed to keep him entertained. You can't bring an arsenal of toys along, but we always try to have at least one or two little things to keep him occupied. This plush whale rattle and teether toy is one of his current favorites, though it just could not compete with the little coffee cup from the airline. They gave me my sparkling water in a sippy cup. Oh, your favorite toy? Oh. I also wanted to make sure that he got his tummy time in, so that was another reason I wanted to opt for the lay flat seats so that we could replicate our routine at home as much as possible. My goal here was to have our typical nap times and arrive in the evening right in time for bedtime to try to get ahead of the jet lag. Cause yep, babies get it too. to land my ears are absolutely killing me and I don't think any of our bodies have processed the different time zone but overall it was a smooth flight we're just not done yet <laughs> we're here so we have to go to terminal one for our next flight all right free shuttle bus he's lagging huh it says one two and three crowded shuttle bus. That was quite a bus ride. <laughs> okay, we gotta check in to the next flight, get through security, and get on that flight. Alright, recheck. We did it! We did it! We made it! Ten minutes to spare. I'm excited. By the way, parents, try to always feed at takeoff and landing for the little guy's ears. By staying religious about this over the last 17 flights that he's had, we've never had any issues, thankfully. Landed in Osaka. Literally so tired. I'm already impressed by the baby friendliness here. I've never seen such an equipped family bathroom. And we ducked into what we thought was like a family bathroom. There's a lot going on in here. Based to dock your kid, a sink. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. No, this, is this is another sink. And then that's where I think we're changing. This is an announcement for using the toilet. For more information, push the center button two times. Thank you. Once we landed, there were several ways that I found that we could get to Kyoto, but the best definitely looked like a direct bus that would take us to Kyoto Station. Very tired, so am I. Yeah. It'll be here in 10 minutes, and then it'll take an hour to get there, so we should get there by 10 p.m., which is like 4 a.m. back home. Last leg. I hope those people back there shut up. Oh, it's snowing. That is straight ice. That sidewalk is just nothing but ice. Oh my goodness. So we're walking in the bike lane so as not to slip and just eat shit. Is it? I don't know. We're finally here and it's cozy and cute. Time to put Felix down for the night and hope for the best. Babies get jet lag too, so I'm hoping we can get over it quickly. There's so much to see and do here, and I can't wait. Thank you.